video, we will go over some of the background information for uh, nodal analysis. We are going to uh, walk through some of the definition and um, things that we need to understand nodal analysis. Uh, we'll begin with Kirchhoff's current law or simply KCL. The definition of KCL is that the algebraic sum of all the currents at a node equals zero. Uh, in other words, if you have a node and you sum up all the currents that are entering a node, it should equal all the currents that are leaving that node. Alternatively, just to make it easier for us to remember, we can assume that all the currents leave a node. It is not going to matter uh, what direction we choose for the currents. We can choose uh, that all the currents leave a node or enter a node just so that we don't have to remember them while we do the circuit analysis but if we do choose we if we do assume that all the currents at a node leave the node then we can say that the sum of all the currents leaving a node is zero because there's no current entering it your right hand side is zero so there's a very quick way to uh, represent kcl you sum up all nodes we have n cap n nodes so if you sum up all those currents that are leaving that node, and this is for every node, it should equal zero. KCL is based on conservation of charge. So charge can neither be created nor be destroyed. And uh, one of the uses for KCL is along with Ohm's law, we can use KCL to perform nodal analysis, a very popular circuit analysis technique. Now let's look at uh, a node. Here we have one essential node in B and we have other nodes which are not essential. Is that We have the voltages labeled over here. Uh, my goal is to apply KCL um, and essentially write all the currents that are leaving this node and make them equal to zero. So can I perform KCL uh, at this particular node. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assume all the currents uh, leaving the node. So I'm going to give them a direction and I'm going to give them a name, say I1, I2, and I3 leaving this node. So I have three currents that are leaving node B now I can use Ohm's law to write an equation for I1. I1 is simply the current that is flowing through resistor R1. So it should equal the potential difference across R1, which in this case should be Vb minus Va. Vb minus Va, current entering the positive terminal, divided by the resistance value R1. Similarly, I can write the current I2 as Vb minus Vc divided by R2. And then I can also write I3 as Vb minus Vd divided by R3. And using KCL, I know that sum of all the currents at node B, we are calling node B this one, is going to equal 0. So summation of all the currents 1 through 3, I sub n goes to 0. This implies that we have an equation now relating all our nodal voltages. So we got Vb minus Va divided by R1 plus I2, which is Vb minus Vc divided by R2 plus I3, which is Vb minus Vd divided by R3 equals zero. Now this is going to be a linear equation. And if you have more nodes uh, in your circuit, you could apply KCL at each node to write a linear equation. This way you can develop a system of linear equations which we can solve using matrices. We are gonna look at uh, all those techniques in another video. All right, I hope this helps.